Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this week I have a project. I would like to build a small utility trailer. This is a small 5x8 trailer that I'm going to build. Uh, so I uh, decided to make a video about it and show you uh, some of the work that I'm going to be doing. So step number one of every build is basically get the steel. Um, I got the steel this morning and uh, I just cut it off. Uh, basically, I'm going to be using a 3x1 rectangular tube, 2x1 uh, rectangular tube, 1x1 uh, one one square tube, and then 1x1 uh, one one angle iron. Uh, the thickness of all the steel is 1 8 So when I got the steel this morning, I basically uh, already had the plan done for the trailer. So all I had to do, so the majority of the work is basically uh, just designing the trailer. So I've spent some time uh, in the past week kind of going through all the dimensions and uh, designing uh, the frame. So this is the frame. Uh, these are the sides. Uh, this is the, uh, the door. Uh, it's going to have a tailgate that drops down. Um, I did change the dimensions just a little bit. I increased the height of the door from 48 to um, uh, 54 inches then calculated all the uh, materials that i needed to buy and then sat down last night and uh, basically just uh, decided how am i going to cut the steel so the uh, the structural tube they uh, they come in 24 foot length so i had to maximize the amount of steel so everything was ready basically for this morning when I got the uh, the steel, all I had to do is pretty much cut them. I already marked the angles too, so 45, 45, 25. Uh, the 25 is for the tongue. And uh, basically everything is cut. So this is going to be a simple build. So um, I'm just going to build it right in the garage, on the garage floor. Uh, so the main beams uh, for the trailer are going to be uh, one by three. So it's going to be five, inch, uh, five feet uh, wide and uh, about 98 uh, inches long you'll also understand later why i decided to go with 98 inches uh, length of the trailer so uh, the main beams are going to be three by one uh, the tongue is going to be a triangular tongue and these are the pieces for the tongue also uh, one by three um, and then the cross members are going to be two by one and then um, the rear tailgate door is going to be one by one um, and then the, uh, the sides are going to be a combination of one by one square tube with, um, with one, uh, one inch uh, angle iron. So, um, I don't have all the uh, stuff for the trailer yet. Um, I don't have the axle, I don't have the tongue or anything. I'm just going to start with the, with the uh, base right now, but I know exactly what axle I'm going to buy. It's going to be, a, um, a 3,500 pound axle. So I'm gonna build the trailer upside down while the axle uh, tabs on it upside down and then flip it back over uh, once I'm ready to flip it back over. Okay, so the frame is all uh, level and it's all squared. So I just put the four pieces of wood on the ground and then start by leveling one of the beams. And then I level the second beam then if I need to add shims, I just add shims and just make sure that this is this corner is at 90 and all the corners are at 90. And what I do is I, I just take a measuring tape, so it's all level. I take a measuring tape and I measure from one corner to the other corner and make sure it's the same distance from this corner until the other corner. So this, uh, if I'm by measuring the diagonal, it's going to tell me if uh, the trailer is, uh, is square. And then I ch just uh, recheck the level uh, at the corners to make sure that everything is level. I am building this trailer upside down. So the plan is, the reason why I went with 98 inches uh, length is because I wanted to put a recessed uh, four by eight sheet of, of uh, plywood. Uh, so I would have one sheet from over there to here and then a second sheet from here to here. So the interior width from right there to right there is 96 inches. So what I did is I, I took two pieces of two by one and then welded them together because I'm building the trailer upside down. So 
and just put a piece of steel right here, clamped it to this one, and then put a spacer, three quarter inch spacer, and just positioned it so it's exactly 48 inches from here to here, and then from here to there. So this basically will allow me to put the plywood recessed. Okay, so the cross members are all done. So basically, like I said, I left about a three quarter of an inch here. It's upside down. Just everything stack welded in place. There's enough three quarter of an inch there. And then there's enough room to have um, two sheets of ply with three quarter inch. Um, so one this way, the other one the other way. I just laid the uh, the tongue in place. It's not welded or any, anything. Uh, and what I did is basically uh, use uh, the trailer platform, it's still upside down, but I wanted to build the rear door uh, or tailgate. So I used it as a, as a level uh, table and um, I made sure, so I left a quarter inch here and a quarter inch here. Uh, and basically the, the, the door is all tack welded. So this is day two of the utility trailer build. Um, yesterday I pretty much set the uh, the platforms pretty much done, uh, just stack welded in place. Uh, now today it's time for us to work on the tongue. So for the tongue, I decided to go with a triangulated tongue. So I have a two inch uh, coupler here. I cap the ends so there's no water that goes in the tube. And then uh, the angle for these couplers is usually 50 degrees. So I cut the two pieces. So if that angle is 50, that means half of it is 25. That means this angle here needs to be 65. And pretty much uh, make sure that it, it, is, uh, it is on uh, perfectly straight. So I'll just measure the distance from here to here and the other distance on the other side. Make sure it's all the same and the distance from here to here is about the same and uh, ready to, to uh, tack weld it in place. I'm obviously going to add uh, brackets and supports to it. Probably add one here, one in the back and one in the front just to give it some extra strength. Okay, so here's the tongue. Everything is tack welded. Just put a little plate here just to give it a little bit extra rigidity. And I like to extend the tongue a little bit fast on the main frame. These spring hangers are going to be this far. So now I have to work on, this, on the spring hangers. Now we have to decide where to position the axle, the center of the axle. And for a trailer this small, um, basically what I do is I just calculate 60%, 40%. So the whole length of the trailer um, from this end until this end is 98 inches. So I take 98 inches and then I multiply them by 0 0.6 and then I get 59 approximately. So I just measure distance from the corner to the center and this is supposed to be 59 inches so this is where the axle is supposed to be at 60 40. For a tra trailer this small this actually perfectly uh, makes sense so okay so now the uh, um, this, uh, the leaf spring is 25 and a quarter inch long from center of eyelet to the other center of eyelet and according to the to the to the book um, uh, the hangers need to be um, 24 and 3 quarter inch uh, center to center. So what I do is from 59 inches here, I, I take 24 and 3 quarter divided by 2 and then um, I add, I subtract 12 and 3 eighths which is half of 24 and 3 quarter and then I, 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 I add the other half. So now I, now I know and I can check what well, before tack welding, I can check that the distance between the two centers of the eyelets um, is 24 and 3 quarter. 
and then at the end here there's two pieces of steel that are gonna come out probably this this uh, much and uh, you basically put the two pieces of steel so the, the free end of the spring is towards the back of the trailer and then the front end the, the spring the spring is just gonna go straight in here but uh, in this case here I'm gonna use two pieces of steel that they come in the kit so this is what uh, these little pieces of steel they look like so basically this is how the picture is and these pieces of steel they go towards the end the back end of the trailer so it's all tacked everything is good so that's all for today morning of day three on the utility trailer build so yesterday pretty much finished up everything and uh, today I have to weld it and then flip it over. It's all welded. It took me about an hour to weld everything up. Just gonna make sure um, everything's welded before I flip it over. But other than that it looks looks pretty good. So I finished welding it and then I flipped it over with the help of my wife and son. It wasn't that terribly heavy. So it's all good now. Flipped right, right side up. The only minor issue is I did notice a little bit of bowing into this beam right here. Just a little bit because I, I welded underneath first. But I think it's not a, it's not a huge problem. Yeah, you can see it here a little bit better. So it's just a very slight bow, but I think it will be okay. That's not a problem. That's it for day three. Molly, uh, Molly working a couple hours a day. So uh, the trail is all welded. It's all done, and I finished welding the, the rear door or the tailgate. I put the uh, screen mesh over it. I might add uh, extra supports right here, especially if uh, somebody's loading a, qu a quad or an ATV on it, just to uh, to hold the weight. That should be good enough. This is day four of the utility trailer build. Got the sides done. Pretty simple. One one inch by one inch tube, and then uh, one inch angle. Just running all across. That's the front of it. So the reason why I did it this way is because I can put a four by eight sheet of uh, plywood that starts right over here and it ends over here. So it's uh, five feet from here to there, and then the remaining one and a half plus one and a half goes up on the sides. So that that's why I have one piece there left over from one of the uh, the plywood sheets, and the other piece is over here, and then that's one piece left over from the other side, from the other piece of plywood that goes over here as well. This is day five of the utility trailer build. Uh, getting, uh, having some good progress done on it. Uh, working on the rear door today. Okay, so here's the rear door. Tailgate is pretty much uh, done. So what I did is I bought some uh, weld on latches. They're greasable. Just set the door, put a little spacer underneath. Uh, probably I put a 60 tau piece of uh, steel then I have some latches pretty much just open them like that spring loaded latches and then I have a, a stop right behind the door that I welded so it doesn't move at all it's pretty solid I don't think it's going anywhere all right so the front end is pretty much complete. I just welded the safety chains on. Just had to make sure that I grind the, because uh, they are coated with uh, zinc or galvanized. So that's not good, I had to grind them off before I welded them. And I just put some supports here, just in case uh, they want to build um, 
uh, toolbox to put it on top here. And then I left some space in the back just in case I put the spare tire here. But that's gonna be another day. So on day six, uh, I only worked for about an hour today. And what I did is basically just installed some uh, pieces of tube here, uh, tie down points. Uh, I got six of them, one at each corner. And then I added an extra brace for the door, just in case. So what's left is basically, um, I'm gonna put a tire carrier here. Um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld some long bolts uh, probably sp spaced out by four and a half inches. I need the tire and wheel. I don't have those yet. So I'll, ins I'll install those here and the tire will come in here. Just put some nuts on it. I'm going to install, weld some washers along the, uh, the rail uh, as a tie down point for um, uh, the electrical wires. And uh, the fenders, which I don't have yet. And finally, the uh, the lights at the back. So it's pretty close to getting done. Probably another day of work. Uh, painted, and then install the axle. So this is day seven of the trailer build. Was able to pull it outside, sitting pretty level with the fenders, the tires, the axle, and welding the uh, the mounts for the uh, for the brakes. The axles are all connected. There you go. Uh, we've got a few helpers helping me paint the trailer. <coughs> it's pretty much done now. Just got a few more touch-ups to do. Wait for it to dry. And put it all together. All right, so it's painted. I did the electrical this morning. Uh, it only took me probably an hour to do the electrical. Pretty easy, there's no brake on it, brakes on it. And tested the lights, working pretty good. So just uh, gonna do some touch up paint and do the deck. Getting the wood deck almost done. Self tapping screws. That's looking pretty good. Probably another hour of work and it will be good to go. So here's the trailer all finished up. All done. Just missing the spare tire in the front. There you go.